Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Quick Clean Eats. Uh, in this episode, I'm gonna be showing you one of my favorite dishes, fish tacos. It's a very simple dish and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so to make fish tacos, it's not that hard. What I'm gonna to use today is uh, salmon. This is wild salmon. You can use farm raised uh, or whatever you can get at your local store. This one actually came from Costco. So what I'm gonna do first is marinate my salmon. Just a little bit of olive oil on both sides. Make sure you nicely uh, put the olive oil on both sides. That way it's evenly coated. This will give it the nice color that you're looking for. A little kosher salt on both sides, just like that. Set aside so your salmon is ready. Next, over here, we're gonna make a little side salad for your salmon. This is just baby spinach, so we'll hold that to the side. Give a little lemon juice, kosher salt, and some tortillas. That's your basic ingredients you need to make the tacos. Next, we're gonna move over to the pans to show how we cook the salmon uh, and how long it takes. It's a very easy setup, but sometimes people overcook their salmon. That's one thing we really wanna focus on is not overcooking the salmon today. Now that your pan's on medium heat, you're gonna put a little bit of olive oil, I say about a teaspoon, just to get the pan a little bit of uh, marinade. You're gonna put your salmon presentation side down, which is always the top. There's a back and there's a top. The top is on the other side. You're gonna let it cook nice and Okay, at this point, it's already been three minutes and your salmon should be ready to flip. The way you can tell is that the salmon is getting cooked almost halfway through. You can tell by the color of it. At this point, you flip it over, you can see that nice golden brown, and you cook it for another three minutes on this side. It's been three minutes. We're gonna add just about a tablespoon of butter to the pan. This is where we're gonna make our sauce for the salmon. What I like to do is take a little olive oil and about a teaspoon of lemon juice and a little bit of butter, of course. Now what I'm gonna do is tilt the pan and start using the butter and oil and lemon to glaze my salmon. This is gonna introduce the lemon and the fat of the butter and the richness of the olive oil into your salmon. So this is basically like making its own sauce. You're getting all the juices and all the natural flavors of the salmon, just reincorporating it into the fish. As you can see how it changes its color once you start washing it. At this point, your salmon is done. You set it aside, turn off the heat. Take our baby greens, which is our baby spinach. We're gonna put, a, again, a little teaspoon of lemon juice. Teaspoon of olive oil. Just a little bit of kosher salt. Mix it all together. This is gonna be the greens for the tacos. I always like to put some kind of greens on the tacos just to give it that flavor and that color. Uh, when I do food, I always want the colors to bounce and to, you know, to go against each other. So the salmon's red, this is green, and then the cheese will be white, just like the colors of the Mexican flag. So set aside your salad. Now what we got here is fresh queso fresco. So what we're gonna do is grate it. All we need is enough for our tacos. Some people like more. I just like just a little bit. 
It grates very easy, as you can see. This cheese is very mild. It's a, a traditional cheese. It's very, uh, it's a little salty, but not yet too salty. And it's kind of sweet. Here we have three flour tortillas. These are raw tortillas. These were actually brought to me from uh, Mexico. Uh, you can use corn tortillas or already pre-cooked uh, flour tortillas if you want. These are raw, so I'm gonna cook them over here on what we call a comal. It's a traditional flat grill, just used to cooking tortillas. While the tortillas are on the comal, it usually takes about I would say a minute on each side. You're looking for a golden brown. These are raw, so it might take a little bit longer. But now at this process, you have almost everything completed. You have your cheese, you have your baby spinach, the salmon's done. The salmon, why I stopped cooking it at that point is because I want it medium rare. I like salmon to be medium rare because it still breaks apart and still adds that flavor, that richness that salmon should produce. tortillas are here, I'm going to take them and build my taco. So I have my salmon, which has already been pre-cooked. See how it flakes apart, the nice, medium rare. You might be wondering why I didn't cut it into three strips. I find by cutting it, cooking it whole, I preserve more of the, it's easier to keep it moist and keep all the flavors locked in. Once you cut it into strips, it's so easy to overcook it. Now I'm putting the baby spinach on top. The queso fresco. And there you have it. Simple fish tacos. Prepared very fast, very fresh. Thank you so much for uh, watching another episode. Stay tuned for next week when we present more episodes and uh, more videos to your liking. If you have any questions, always leave a comment. We'll get right back to you and answer any questions you have. And uh, anything you wanna see, just let us know. Please uh, hit subscribe and keep on following us. Thank you, bye.